Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of UI Full Stack Web Development. In the last video, we have seen about CSS introduction. Today, let us move to the next one, CSS Selecteds. So today's topic is CSS Selecteds. So we are having different type of selecteds like universal selector. The symbol for universal selector is we use star symbol. We are having element selector. So the meaning of element selector is we refer to the element like H3 element, paragraph element, div element, like this. We go with the respective element here. We are having ID selector. ID selector. Here we go with the symbol ash, ID1, ash, ID2, like this. We are having class selector. Class selector, we go with the name of the class like dot center, dot right, dot div, like this. We use dot symbol for class selector. Then the next one, grouping selector. Here we group uh, the list of elements like H3 element, P element, H4 element. Just we group the elements here. Let us understand one by one. Coming to universal selector. Universal selector. In the case of universal selector, the symbol what we use is star. Means this is applied, applied to all HTML elements. The styles are applied. The styles are applied to all HTML elements. Like example, if you say star symbol, and if you are providing the styles. The styles will be applied to the complete document, complete web page. The styles will remain same. For example, if I say color blue, color blue, then color blue, then uh, text align center. The alignment will be center and the color will be blue. For the complete web page, complete document, the styles will be same for any HTML element. To all HTML elements, the styles will be same. Let us understand using the example. Let us go with the program CSS Universal. HTML. Open Visual Studio Code. In this CSS programs folder, let us create a new text file. Let me go with the name as CSS Universal. HTML. Take the template, exclamation presenter key. It will come go with the complete template, the boilerplate code. Here we are discussing about CSS universal selector. Coming to the body section. Uh, before that, in the head section, you can go with the style using style tag. Whenever you want to define CSS styles, in the head section, we go with style tag. Here, let me go with the universal select, selector, star symbol. Here, we will say text align. Center and color will say blue. In the body tag, I'll go with H3 element. I am heading H4 element. I'm heading this. Let me say it as one. This let me say it as two. And paragraph element, I am paragraph one. Again, one more paragraph, I am paragraph two. Now, when we open this in browser, right click and say open in browser, see the result, everything is coming in central end and blue color. So for all HTML elements, when we go with the universal selector, for all HTML elements, these styles will remain same. So it is applicable to the complete document here. Now, after this, after this, if I use this X3 element, and we'll say text align left, text align left, and I'll say the color as red. The color as what? Red. So this is our element selector. This we call it as element selector. The styles are applicable to the specific HTML element. Now, if you reload this page, see for heading one, it is applying this H this style. It is not going with the universal. 
so the styles will be from top to bottom first these styles will be applicable and what are the latest style we are giving so for h3 element we have given this style so this style will be applicable for this h3 element instead of going with this universal selector so it will come from top to bottom so the latest styles whatever we give to the element those styles will be applicable right so this is about universal selector and even we have seen about element selector element means the styles are given to the specific html element so what is the next one element selector element selector so in this case the styles are given are given to the specific specific html element like example you can go with h3 element you can provide the styles text align center color blue like this it is related to the specific html element so if you take our first example css example one here this styles whatever we have provided for h3 and p element this is our element selector now coming to the next one id selector id selector when we go with this id selector the id selector uses the id attribute uses the id attribute of a html element to select a specific element it uses what id attribute of a html element to select a specific html element let us understand this with the program css id dot html let us go with new text file css id dot html go with the template let me take the title as css id selector in between this head section go with the style tag here we can define the ids how to go with id is the syntax is hash and you can go with the id here id1 i am giving id1 then provide the styles like text align center color red let me go with one more id id2 will say text align right color color will say blue and font size will say some 20 pixel i'm giving the font size as 20 pixel here we have defined two ids in style in between style tag whenever you want to go with id we use the symbol as symbol now in the body element we go with h3 i am heading and paragraph element i am paragraph but well, i'm paragraph here so for this h3 i want to refer to this id then here we'll say id equal to id1 and for the second paragraph i'll say id equal to id2 so for this heading heading these styles will be applicable for this id2 these styles will be applicable now see when we open in browser see we are getting see heading is coming in central and red color paragraph is coming in right aligned blue coloring font size is 20 pixel then, so once we give an id to this element for this first paragraph if i am giving this id one this is not good way of programming this is not suggested way of giving the styles so id is given to a specific element only once we give id for this h3 element that id we should not give to other element that is not suggested way of writing the codes right so in that case we go with what class selector so for same styles i want to give these styles to multiple html elements then we go with what we go with the class selector class selector in the case of class selector 
the class selector selects elements with a specific class attribute we are to use class attribute let us understand with the program css class dot html create a new text file css class dot html go with the boilerplate code template let us go with the title as css class selector and in body section and let us define some class in between spell tag whenever you want to go with class we have to use a symbol dot dot and we'll give the class name as center and we'll say text align center and let me say background color some crayon let us go with one more class dot right dot right text align right background color yellow now coming to this body section here we create one paragraph and we'll refer to the class center i'm referring to the class center and we'll say i am paragraph one let me create one more paragraph we'll say class equal to same class i can refer no problem so class i can even apply for so this class whatever we are creating i can use this class name for multiple html elements so id also we can use but it is not suggested we have good coding i'm saying here i am paragraph i can create one more paragraph class equal to right I am paragraph three. Can even apply for H three element class equal to center. I am heading like this. Open in browser. Right click and say open in browser. See we are getting the styles over here. Now. One more point if i go with the class like one more advantage over here if i say p dot center and p dot right meaning this center class and right class can be used only by the p element it can be used only by the p element h3 cannot refer to this class now see when we reload this page we are not getting any styles for your heading so this is also possible we can even mention which element can use these classes that is possible with the class selector right the next one grouping selectors very very simple grouping selector the need of going with grouping selector is if you are having the elements like h3 element h3 element here we'll say text align center color blue for h4 element we'll go with text align center color blue and for paragraph element we'll say text align center color blue if you observe the styles are same for multiple html elements when the styles are same for multiple html elements after grouping once we group we can write like this h3 comma h4 comma p element then for this we'll go here text align align center color blue right so this separating the elements by comma that concept only we call it as grouping selector when to apply grouping selector when same styles are given to multiple html elements then we can group it by separating by comma so you try to write this code by yourself only related to this grouping selector so you try to practice from your end so that's about selectors so what are the selectors we are having totally five universal selector start symbol element selector id selector class selector and grouping selector so please practice this in the next video we'll be learning the different ways of inserting css styles in our 
HTML document. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.